Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Hello, hello, family Welcome to the channel I hope you guys are having yourself a wonderful uh, day In today's video we'll be reacting to Xbox Series XS uh, Official next gen walkthrough So stay tuned, we'll be right back with a video Welcome back guys, inshallah we're gonna get started with the video momentarily and at the end of the video I'll be sharing with you my observation and reaction so please make sure you stay until the end with that said we're gonna get started with our video What is going on everybody? My name is Malik Prince and November 10th is right around the corner so you know what that means the launch of the Xbox Series X, our fastest most powerful console ever and the Xbox Series S, our smallest Xbox ever packed with next-gen performance they're both right around the corner, super exciting time so today what we're going to do is we're going to walk you through a full demo from top to bottom unedited to showcase the entire experience uh, on a full retail unit by the way just like the one you get on launch but of course I can't do it alone so with me from the Xbox engineering team it is Harrison Hoffman. Harrison, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing, Malik? I'm pumped. I'm excited. It's a new generation of games. We got Assassin's Creed Valhalla on the on the horizon. Cyberpunk thing coming out. Um, it's a great time to be a gamer. Absolutely. Um, so we're gonna get started in just a second, but just want a, a quick note that the even though we're showcasing the Xbox Series X today, um, we also have the Xbox Series S here. And with both of these consoles, we're really talking about faster load times, higher frame rates, and richer, more dynamic worlds. And so you're gonna see that today. Um, but Harrison, I'm a mind reader. I can tell the comments are gonna be, get into it already. So let's do it, let's get into it. All right, let's not keep them waiting. Let's turn this thing on. Boom. Here we go. Again, exciting time for the team. So much work has gone into this. I, I bet you're pumped. Oh yeah, I mean, the team's been working on these consoles for, for years at this point. So, you know, we're all just really, really excited to for gamers all around the world to get their hands on it. I love it, I love it. So first thing we notice when you turn on the console is home, of course. Uh, so let's walk through what's new here. First thing here, you know, the, the team has really spent um, you know, a lot of time over the last year plus really, you know, simplifying, optimizing, refining the, the experience on, on, on Xbox here to really make it one, um, you know, simpler and more accessible for people who are new to X Xbox who might not have ever had an Xbox console before. And then two, um, to make it a lot more powerful and useful for people who are or those upgraders and those kind of loyal, loyal Xbox gamers. So... When I land here on home, really, really the intention of home is to give you quick access to the games that you were playing recently, as well as can I give you um, easy ways to discover new games to play. Um, yeah. Yeah, and I'd be remiss if I didn't call out these sick dynamic backgrounds that I see going on here. What's up with that? For sure. So this is uh, exclusive to Xbox Series X and S. These are our new dynamic backgrounds here. We have one for each color that you can pick on the system, uh, and we're hoping to add more in the future, too. Love that. Looking forward to that. So um, obviously launch day, people are probably going to want to play a game or two on their console. So uh, what do you want to play first? Let's let let's jump into something. Yeah, uh, let's just dive straight into Gears 5 here. I think that's a good place to start. Very good choice. Very good choice. And um, the big reason why I wanted to start with this, this game here, you know, this is um, obviously a game from the Xbox One generation. And it was, you know, really like a, a visual showcase at the time. Really, really stunning game. Um, and the Coalition has done a lot of great work to really um, make this game shine on, on Xbox Series X. Nest. So they've, you know, gone and done all the optimization work for it. We see this game now running at a beautiful, you know, 4K 60 here, here in the campaign. Um, and it's just looking better than ever before. Uh, one thing to, to really call your attention to here are uh, the, the detail of the textures. And that's because we are actually using the same textures that we use in the PC version of Gears 5 when it's running under, un, under ultra settings. And that's something that we, that we couldn't do before on Xbox One X, but now we're able to do on Xbox Series X. Um, so it's really, really great to see the game um, just looking phenomenal here. And in versus multiplayer, that frame rate's going all the way up to 120, right? So that was actually one of the first things that I did when I got access to this, this version of Gears, and I, I fired up the versus multiplayer just to see with 120 frames per second really feels like. And I think a lot of people can really relate to that jump from, from 30 to 60 um, and really being able to feel the difference there. And then going from 60 to 120, it just feels like incredibly smooth. It's kind of like a gameplay experience like I've never had before, honestly. Nice, well I just upgraded my TV, so I'm excited to check oh, that yeah. out. Um, all right, so maybe you're playing Gears and you want to check in what your friends are up to or maybe start a party. So let's let's check out the guide. What's, what's going on here? Yeah, so um, all I have to do here is just hit the Xbox button and it just pulls up the guide. And you can just think of this as our, you know, sort of over game menu. So it's, it's, it's going to come up over the top of any game that you're you're playing on the system here and gives you quick access to those things that you might want to do while you're actually playing a game. So, you know, being able to quickly switch between your games and apps, check out your notifications, you know, take a look at, at your friends list, your party chat, your messages, your achievements, um, and really kind of ha having all that at, at your fingertips without disrupting the game at all. I love it. Let's uh, let's hit up another game. Uh, what do you what do you want to play? Well, I think we've got to dive into Dirt Five next. Let's do it. Uh, Dirt Five. I'm excited yeah, for this. Yeah, for sure. 
sure. It's a very beautiful game. For sure. Uh, first thing that I want to call your attention to as we're transitioning here is this little quick resume icon at the top. And this is a brand new feature that we have for Series X and S. And what quick resume does is it allows you to instantly pick up where you left off across multiple games in the system. So, I mean, if you're like me, you know, like I'm playing, you know, three or four games probably probably at a time. Maybe some I'm playing with my friends. Some is maybe in like a more serious game. I'm I'm playing by myself. Maybe there's kind of kind of a more casual game I like to jump into occasionally. And I can have all those games like hot and ready to play here. So I'm just quick resuming into Dirt 5, like I'm just right back here in the middle of the race um, and everything's just looking phenomenal. Yeah, I feel like a broken record, but this is stunning. When you get a console on launch, I feel like racing games do such a great job of showcasing it. And you see like the cars, the reflections, the dirt, let's name the game, <laughs> uh, flying everywhere. It's just a really cool, a really cool showcase of next gen. Um, but of course, we've talked about this game being on Series X and Series S. Uh, let's go back in time. Big focus of Xbox has been compatibility. Um, so let's showcase a back impact game. What do you want to showcase? So let me pop up in the guide again. Um, let's just jump over to Subnautica, which um, is a great game from, from Xbox One as well. And um, one thing you're going to notice as soon as we quick resume back, back over to this game is that um, these colors in this game are looking better than they've ever looked before. So let me just dive into the water here. And that's actually all thanks to a new feature that we have, um, a platform level feature called Auto HDR. And this does exactly what it sounds like, and it adds HDR to games that have never had it before, which is like a crazy impressive feature. And even you know, games for the Xbox 360, for the original Xbox, you can go play Fusion Frenzy, which was a launch day game on the original Xbox in HDR, and it's just really kind of breathing new life into these into these games, um, and these fantastic classic games on Xbox. Fusion Frenzy, one of the first game that I ever played on Xbox. Yeah. So I'm definitely excited to jump in and that's what we've kind of been talking about thousands of games across four generations um okay cool so i'm looking at this game this is pretty awesome and i also been checking out that controller familiar but i know a few tweaks to make it even better right yeah for sure so this is the brand new xbox wireless controller so this is going to come with your xbox series x or s when you get it it's also um obviously available to to purchase separately and there's a few things that you're going to notice when you when you get this controller um the first thing is that um, it feels really really comfortable in your hands so we've taken everything that we've learned from you know making the Xbox One controller, listening to fans and feedback, doing a lot of testing with, with, with real people all around the world. And, and we've actually um, slightly improved the, the ergonomics of this controller and made it just like ever so slightly smaller. So it feels even more comfortable in more people's hand sizes, which is awesome and really kind of making gaming more accessible to more people, which, which we love doing for sure. Love that. So the D-pad, I know inspired by the Elite Series 2. Yeah. You got textured grips uh, and on the triggers and bumpers, that's pretty cool. But I know um, one thing that I love to do is share my experiences in the games, even if they're terrible, like they usually are in multiplayer <laughs> games. Um, but I know it's quicker than ever to share directly from the Xbox wireless controller, right? Yeah, for sure. So uh, right here on the controller, uh, we have a new button and it's called the share button and it's super useful. All I have to do is just tap it once to capture a screenshot or press and hold it to capture a game clip. And what this really does is let me keep my focus on the game. So when something awesome happens and I'm like totally freaking out and I need to actually capture that clip, um, I don't have to take my attention away from the game. I don't have to go into some other menu. I, I just hit that share button right there and it's automatically captured. Nice, and we've been talking about speed a lot. Not only is it faster than ever to actually take a clip or a screenshot, but also now it's faster to actually share it to your friends on social media, right? Yeah, for sure. So when it comes time to share it, um, I really just go to my phone, I break up my phone. So once I've captured that clip, it you know automatically gets uploaded to Xbox Live and is available for sharing, I'll get a notification right here on my phone that says, hey, you've got, you got a new screenshot that's ready to share. And then I can just share that out to any of my friends or networks that my phone knows about. Like the phone is kind of like the ultimate sharing tool. Like it knows about, you know, all the different places that I want to share. Um, so really, I love that we're kind of making this whole process seamless to completing that here. Nice. And then in that Xbox app, I know there's new features that's been redesigned. Walk us through that. Um, this is the new Xbox mobile app. And we've actually um, totally rebuilt this app from the ground up um, in anticipation in anticipation of the Series X and S launch. So this is actually the app that you're going to use to set up your new console on day one. You're gonna be able to use it to log in your Microsoft account, put in your Wi-Fi password, set up all your settings while your console's taking that, that day one update. And then after that, your console is really like um, just linked directly to your phone. So now, you know, I can just interact with my console right, right from my phone. So if I'm, you know, out anywhere in the world and I, you know, get, get really, really inspired about a particular game that I wanna go check out, I can go and search for it right here and remotely download it to my console. So when I get home, it's all ready to play. 
Um, also, if I don't, you know, if I, if I just can't wait until I, in, until I get home to play and I really need, need to get, get some gaming in, we also have a brand new feature called Remote Play, which is mm -hmm. awesome. And basically, this lets you be able to remotely play any game that's installed on, on my console here um, via the Xbox app. And all I have to do is just connect um, my Xbox wireless controller up to my phone, and then I'm just up and playing right here. I love that. So your experience with the Xbox doesn't end with the TV and the console. It extends to your phone, and that is pretty dope. Uh, okay, so let's find more games. I know Xbox Game Pass is a great way to discover your next favorite game. Um, and directly from home, we actually have content blocks and Xbox Game Pass is one of them. So let's talk about that. So as I was saying earlier, really one of the things that we want the dashboard home to be able to do is to help you find that next thing to play, help you find that next game. Um, so when you're kind of going around looking for inspiration and you're browsing around the dashboard, the Game Pass is a big part of that. And we've really built that into the experience. And you know, when I go down from the top of home here, you, see, you, you, can, you can see the Game Pass block and you, know, you can check out all, all of our featured titles, what's, what's been added to the Game Pass catalog recently. When I click into it, you sort of get the, the full experience and get, get to look at the full breadth of the catalog here. Um, be able to go in here, check out check out the details about one of these games. Be able to kick it off for for an install if it's if it's looking cool. Nice. And of course, on November 10th, we have a huge addition to Xbox Game Pass, right? Yeah. On November 10th, launch day for, for these consoles, we are adding EA Play to Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, um, which, which gives you access to all those games that, that, are, that are in the EA Play catalog, all the games, all the all the trials, and you can just play them right here if you have Ultimate. So that give me access to Titanfall 2? It will give you access to Titanfall God, 2. Harrison, you just made my day. <laughs> I'm super excited. So of course, if a game is not an Xbox Game Pass, uh, you just want to purchase it, then you go over to the Xbox Store, um, which I hear has been redesigned of course, the speed. Yeah, uh, definitely. So I'll, do, I'll just pop right into the store here. And um, the first thing that we really focus on with the new store is speed and performance. We wanted to make sure that it is as fast as possible for you to get into the store and to you know, be able to search for games and, and find something that you want to play. So you, you saw how, how, how fast that launched. You can see as we're sort of going around here um, how, how quick the user interface is to, to navigate here. If I want to check out more details about a game, maybe I want to see you know, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I can click into it, uh, check out check out the details page here, see trailers, information about the game, and kind of everything that I need to, to decide whether or not I want to buy it. Nice, and of course that speed also translates to the download speeds, which I hear are improved on both the consoles. Yeah, uh, we have you know brand new advanced networking hardware um, in both of these consoles that lets us take more full advantage of your home internet connection when you're downloading games. So you know you're kind of not going to be bumping up against those kind of um, you know hardware uh, restricted uh, caps anymore on, on on those downloads, and we'll be able to kind of more full take advantage of that connection and get you those games faster than ever. That is dope. And of course, to see all your games, you would head over to My Games and Apps, which I know uh, has improvements on displaying the games, but also on showcasing where those games came from, right? Yeah, definitely. So if I dive into My Games and Apps, like this is really you know where I go to see all the games that are that are installed on my console, as well as kind of see the games that I that I have access to as well. So just sort of coming into here, um, these are all the games that I have installed here. You can see kind of how fast all all this is loading. Um, you'll also notice that. We have some badges on, on, on some of these tiles here um, that tell you which subscription these games are coming from. So you see Burnout Paradise Remastered coming from EA Play, Doom Eternal, um, as well as the Outer Worlds coming, coming from Game Pass. And it's just really nice to be able to scroll through here and just kind of see exactly where everything's coming from. Yep, and all of those service ob services obviously bring in more games than ever, and you may need a little bit of extra space. So Little Birdie told me that you have one of those new Seagate storage expansions with you. I do. There it is. Right here. So uh, this is the uh, Seagate one terabyte storage expansion card and I mean this thing is really just like a marvel of engineering the first thing that the, the first time that I saw this I was just totally blown away so full terabyte of storage right in here it plugs directly into the back of the console and this storage is actually just as fast as you know our crazy fast NVMe SSD that we have inside of the console so that means that you're going to get those same load times you're, you're going to get quick resume you're going to get to be able to um, you know play uh, Xbox Series X and S games directly off of this drive but then also, there's an option if maybe you need to store more games um, with the regular USB, right? Yeah, for sure. So um, especially, you know, if, if you're looking to play backwards compatible games like Xbox One, Xbox 360, or original Xbox games, you can just plug in a USB hard drive like you do today um, and, and play any of those games off of here, and then you know save your your kind of faster SSD storage um, for for the for those next gen games. I love that. Now that's the first time that I'm seeing it, and again, you are right. It is a marvel of engineering. Uh, do you mind if I do the honors and plug it in? Absolutely. There you go. God, okay, here we go. Here we go, everybody. I am, boom. Look at that. All I right. did it. I did it. And that was that was 
fast. There you go. Again, we've been talking about speed this entire time and almost every part of this experience is that. And so Harrison, this has been fantastic. Thank you for walking us through this entire demo. And again, on November 10th, you're going to get Xbox Series X and Series S. We're really focusing, we've been talking about it, higher frame rates, faster load times, and richer, more dynamic worlds, and thousands of games across generation, including Assassin's Creed Valhalla as a new game and Cyberpunk later on. I'm super excited to play. Um, this has been great, Harrison. Let's just go back and play some dirt, though. All right, let's do it. Interesting. So they're going to be releasing actually two models, the S and I guess the X. And so one small one is a little bit uh, larger. Uh, they both look like a box. <laughs> so I, I like uh, the PlayStation 5 because it's more curvy. It looks nice. Um, and I actually like the PlayStation's demo more because they were actually focusing on the game. They were they had the screen sharing. They were showing the screen and it was actually walking you through every step. So you're not going back and forth, back and forth with how these guys were doing. Where they would uh, basically talk a bit and then go show one aspect of the game. Then come back and talk a bit and go show another aspect. So you kind of get lost of what's going on. Where with uh, PlayStation, they just started with the game and then they continuously just went through each of it so you just see that the game the console itself for example for those people who already have xbox or who had played xbox before it might be easy because they're just referring to different areas but if it's somebody new and they're just talking about it this place has updated that place you might not know where if they were sharing it and from there they were showing each part it would have been easy for somebody new to understand it but overall uh it looks uh, good it looks uh, interesting but i think i like the playstation 5 more <laughs> so thank you very much guys i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know in the comment section what do you prefer playstation 5 or xbox x and s again thank you very much guys i hope you guys enjoy your day take care of yourself and your family inshallah i'll see you guys in the next video take care What's in it?